I, I think it will be entirely inappropriate uh, for the elect independent electoral boundary commission to take a stand on the election date to be the March 2013. And I think that will show that actually the IEBC has sided with the BNU part of the coalition, which for me, although I'm not a supporter of the ODM, and I don't agree with some of the policies that probably Raila might pursue, but I think to be fair on the Kenya agenda, and actually considering the integrity and the independency of the election, I think it will be wrong for Kenyans to be deceived and to be told that actually you will be being members of parliament and cabinet ministers, including Kibeke and Raila, for three or four more months, a salary that they are not entitled to. And I think my understanding is that actually this is more of a constitutional issue than actually a political issue. And I think this is the right time that we need to step back from the past. And the IEBC has to show it is independence. At this particular moment, I can see where the independence comes in. Because absolutely, they are deceiving Kenyans. They are deceiving part of the coalition, which I don't agree with it. And, I'm, and I think this is absolutely a ridiculous thing for them to do. I think the chairman is wrong. The chairman is absolutely wrong. And I think him being a lawyer, he needs some legal advice. And my thinking is that actually the election date has to be left entirely with either the parliament, which is a body that has been elected by the Kenyan's people, or it has to be left alone by Quebec and Raila. The Quebec and Raila have to agree. They cannot continue disagreeing on an issue that affects this nation. It is very, very, very important. And I think we should not be messing around and playing around. I think we need to forget about what has, in, has been happening in the past. And I think we need, really, really, people need to understand that any person who is being given a chairmanship of an institution always demonstrates and spearhead the independence of that institution. I think March 2013 is not a viable. It is not economically viable. It is undemocratic. And I think the IECB has done wrong by actually coming into the open and declaring that the election is going to be matched. And I think they need to reverse. They need to take a legal advice from this issue. And I think the parliament have to come in. The parliament is the legally elected body. I know that they are never perfect. And it is the most corrupt institution we have in Kenya. But at one point, we have to respect our elective institutions. We elected them and we took them to the parliament. So we have to respect their decision. And for this matter, I think the parliament has to make a decision. And I think this should be an issue that all political parties come together and agree on it, that December becomes the election date for the 2012 election in Kenya. Thank you so much, and God bless you all.